and welcome, I'm the one and only West Coast King, and welcome back to the Sounders Career Mode, where today, we'll actually be getting our first taste of Champions League action, I cannot wait for that, that should be really exciting, especially that first game, because it's, uh, it's a doozy, it's a doozy, but before we get into that, we have the rest of the transfer window to take care of, there's about a week left in it, um, and I've decided, by the way, that we're talking about transfer window stuff, I've decided not to go after Dele Ali. I think he's a fantastic player, but... I really want to save as much money as I can for the upcoming January transfer window for pre-contracts. I mean, I would say three of the top players in the world are available for pre-contracts. I'm not going to say exactly who they are, but they are available as of right now. They have not signed new contracts for their team. So I definitely want to save as much money as I can for those pre-contracts. If I can get at least one of them, it would be huge for this team. It would make our last season magical. So. I'm not going to do anything more in the transfer window, I don't think, unless a big offer comes in for one of our players and brings more money, then we'll look at doing some other things. But for right now, I think we're just going to stay where we are. So I'm going to get into that and see if anything happens. And then after that, we have a game against Bournemouth, Bournemouth sorry, that will be simulated. So let's get into this thing. All right, so with just a few hours left on deadline day, Bournemouth have come in and offered $1.9 million for Roman Torres. He's a guy that's just been unhappy for about a year because he doesn't play. I have a lot of center backs now that I prefer over him. Um, even the likes of Karar would probably play over him because Karar's younger and has more potential. So, Torres, I like the guy. He's a very, very good center back. Just, we've kind of outgrown him and it's time for him to move on. Hopefully, there's enough time left for this deal to actually go through. All right, so the transfer window has now closed. The Roman Torres deal did go through. We sold him for 1.9. We get an additional 1.6 into the transfer budget. That's nice. Overall, I would say our transfer window was very, very good. We got rid of some players that I wasn't comfortable with or just weren't living up to expectations. We brought in some much needed depth, especially in the winger positions. I think we're a very good team going forward. I think we can accomplish our goal in the Champions League now with the depth we have, though. It's not going to be easy. We're going to get in and simulate this next game against Bournemouth, and then we'll take a look at the group for the Champions League. So here we go against Bournemouth. We are on the road for this one, and I have the reserves in there. We are, our first Champions League game is in two days, and it's by far the most difficult one we'll have in the group. So I want to be ready for it, and I'm confident what the reserves can give us. A nil-nil draw away is fine. I know I'll take that. I'll take the point on the road with the reserves. Not a bad performance. I mean, we didn't win, but we didn't give up a goal either, which is always good. All right, so now I'm going to show you our group for the Champions League, and our first game is... In the Champions League is up next, and like I said, it is the... <laughs> I would have to say probably, other than having to go to the Camp Nou, this is probably worst case scenario. I mean, all right, here's the group. Boom, there it is. Can you guess where we're headed first? Yeah, we're off to Spain to face Real Madrid at the Bernabeu, but other than that, Wolfsburg and Anderlecht are both also very good teams, but I think they're also beatable teams. I think we can achieve our objective of getting out of this group and into the knockout rounds. I definitely think it's doable. I definitely think it's doable. But for now, let's go play Real Madrid. So here is the lineup we are taking to Spain. It's the first choice starting 11 with the exception of Goretzka. Um, I forgot that he was going to be suspended for this game. Actually, I just didn't know he was going to be suspended. I have no idea why he is. But he is nonetheless. So Blinn will have to be in there for him. I almost had to start Swanson. I didn't know if I was going to have another midfielder to plug in there. We had just played a game three days ago against Bournemouth. So I'm, not, I'm kind of limited on who I can bring. But... I'm going to also go with Marshall in there instead of Jonathan Ta. I just want that leadership that Marshall gives us at the back. And Denayer's in good form. That's why he's starting over him. Other than that, first choice starting 11 all the way. If we get anything from this game, I'm going to admit right now it would be a miracle. But we're going to give it our best shot. All right, here we go. Kick off at the Bernabeu. I just... I was hoping that maybe Real Madrid wouldn't take this seriously and put out a reserve lineup. They haven't. They really, really haven't. This is a full-strength Real Madrid team. With the likes of Aguero in there as well, who I forgot that they had bought. Now, where the hell is he going? Oh, Ronaldo. Get rid of that. Woo! Oh, my God. That ball. That ball to Ronaldo. Kim sung Gyu is there. Oh, man. We... Oh no, I gave it away. I gave it away. No, that was a bad pass and he was offsides anyway. Shit. Oh, come on. Oh, Real Madrid. Well, I, I was there. I, I stopped every angle and they still get the passes away. That's the most aggravating thing. Like, you can outplay them, but in the end, they're just better than you. Like, it's not just not fair. 
There's a whistle for half time. Not a lot has happened in this game. I mean, I don't think we've had any shots. Maybe one from distance. They've only had a couple. They were good looks. Some were off size. I don't know. It's been a very even match, at least. So I'm happy with that. All right, start of the second half. If you get a repeat of the first half, come out of here with a one, with a nil-nil draw, I would be like ecstatic about that. That would have been like the perfect scenario to happen. And, you know, Inyaki Williams, no one's going to come get him. I'm just going to go right by. There you go. Nice play, Inyaki. There you go. Give it in. Mustor. Oh, Mustor still has it. Mustor have the shot. Hachi Mustor put it in. We're beating Real Madrid. We're winning. What did I tell you about Hachi Mustor? It wasn't anything special or flashy, but the fact that you he just keeps the ball no matter what is so impressive. And the finish was, oh my God, it was so good. I love Hachi Mustor. I love this team. Oh my God, I can't believe we're winning this game. Chad, big Chad, no, nope, but there's the nair. There's always the nair. Odegaard made a nice turn. I missed Inyaki. There you go, Inyaki. Williams gets by his man. Go, Inyaki. Come on, Inyaki Williams. Turn it in. How are you getting caught by that dude? Oh, he's still in there. He's still in there. Ball in. There's a shot. Darlington Nagby. Dead in front of goal, man. You have got to put that away. That, oh my god, he missed it by so much. How would you mess that up? It's the 90th minute. Real Madrid has brought on... Oh, get rid... No, 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 no. I was going to say... No! I can't even talk. Hold on. Wait for that update. Give me a second. No. Oh, that was a good foul. That was... That wasn't a foul? It was a foul. Oh. Oh, my God. It's the 90th minute, and they have one of these stupid freaking free kicks. No. Just in there. Get that shit out of here. Oh, my God. Please, ref, blow the whistle. That's got to be time. It is! We've got three points away at the Bernabeu. What a freaking performance from this team. Real Madrid actually brought on Obafemi Martins at the end. I was... That, if, if he scored against me, it would have broken my heart. But I would have had to, I would have had to smile a little bit. That would have been hilarious. But three points. First game of the group. The hardest one out of the way. And we come out on top. I love this team. All right, so we're going to get right into the next match. We got the LA Galaxy coming into CenturyLink Field, the first showdown between two MLS teams in the Premier League. The Galaxy are going to be coming with a pretty interesting lineup, I think. They've gotten, they've been very active in the transfer window, so they should have a few new players in there to start off with, so it should be pretty interesting to see what they do have. Our 11 is going to be our normal starting 11, with the exception of Ta is back in there for Marshall. Marshall just wasn't all that great against Real Madrid. To be fair to him, that, I mean, you can't really blame him for that, but... On the other hand, Denaire was the MVP of that game. He was fantastic. The best game he's played by far in the Rave Green. I was so happy with him. But enough about that. Let's, let's renew some old rivalries and, and welcome the Galaxy to town. Boy, boys. Stevie G back in England. Back in the Prem where he belongs. I like that. That's, that's, kind, of, that's kind of emotional, you know. It's a little bit of emotion right there. I, I like that a lot. All right, kick off at CenturyLink Field. And as for the Galaxy, it's actually kind of a mix between Premier League players in Dini and Lazzini that they just brought in and normal Galaxy players. So it's a, it's a good lineup. They got Dini and uh, Jesse Zardes up top. So that should be a pretty good 11. And oh my God, look at the path. Look, no way. Hachima Store is a madman. The dude just scores for fun. He had a sketchy second season for us, but ever since, the dude's just a stud. Mustor just puts a pinpoint ball into Ayanacho, who takes the shot. Did that go in? It didn't get on it. Shoot. Put it back in, Williams. There's Goretzka. Gets absolutely depleted by Steven Gerrard, and it's going to be out for a corner. Yo, Ayanacho, how is that? That's not a goal? Oh, so close. I thought it was in. Damn. I'm going to try to power this thing. Right in there. Boom. Lay it off. Bang it. Yedlin. Yo. This team is in super form right now. This is a scary team. Yedlin banging it. That was so close to being a goal. It took a great save to keep that out. There you go. Oh, what a ball to Mastor. Mastor, get there. Yes, Mastor. Oh, ref, that's a pen. That's a pen. 
Hachima store. I thought I may have screwed it up. I tried the chop, and Omer Gonzalez was that close to getting it. He was so close, but just whiffed and took my store down instead. All right, Ayanacho with Hesse out. Ayanacho is the best pen taker on the team. Let's see if he can't put it away. Wow, keeper went the right way. But Ayanacho buries it. 2 0 over LA. Oh, Carrillo with the intercept. Nicely done, my store. Oh, I missed Carrillo on the run. My bad. My bad. Hold on, Carrillo. I'm trying, man. Oh, Carrillo. What a turn! On the top of the box. Andre Carrillo finally making his presence felt this season. He's had a slow start to this season. But I know he's a quality player. He showed it right there. 3 0 over LA. No, what? No, don't even. That's a penalty. Come on. I was trying to let that go out. Like, why did Tall grab that ball? It was clearly going to roll out for a for a goal kick. Instead, he... Why did Daenerys... I don't know. This The, the last few minutes of this game have been crazy. You know, LA don't even deserve a goal, but Stevie G, he goes right. He did go right. <laughs> There's, you can't save that. You just can't. I dove the right way, but... Steven Gerrard... Pretty good at penalties, I guess. I mean, banged it off the post. How am I supposed to stop that? I went the right way. Just Stevie G. What is... Jesus, just end this game. Just end the game, ref. Please, I beg you. Send Ayanacho. Just get him the frick out of here. Ref. It's a foul. Whatever, yo. The end of that game was just crazy. The final 10 minutes was uber sloppy. And very, it could have been like ended 6-3. It was that weird of a game. But we get the win nonetheless. 3-1's not bad. I would have wished uh, we kept a clean sheet. But, you know, three points. Can't complain about that. All right. The next game is going to be away at Colchester in the Capital One Cup. I actually didn't even know this game was on the schedule. It got put in there after I started recording. So I didn't even know this game was coming up. But I'm going to put the reserves in there. We had a game coming up against Watford. In a few days, I want the starters ready for that one. So, also, I think the reserves can probably handle this. Odegaard already scores a goal. We win at 2-0. Mane also scoring a goal. And Leon Bailey, who just came to me and said he wants to play more, missed a golden opportunity and missed a penalty. Leon, that, that's, that's, not, that's not very encouraging, man. You got to do better than that. All right, so a few days later now, we are on the road at Vicarage Road to play Watford. It's the same starting 11 for us that was in there against LA. I see no reason to make any changes. We're absolutely flying right now. This team is in top form. So let's take this show on the road, literally, and let's go play Watford. All right, here we go. Kickoff on the road against Watford. The biggest addition I can see they've made to their team is at the goalkeeper spot. They got Brad Guzan from Aston Villa. Which is interesting, because Aston Villa is now in first place. So who the hell did they buy to replace Guzan? He must be a world-ender of a goalkeeper. Shit. That was stupid. That was really stupid. Oh my, that was even worse. Come on, guys. Wake up. Uh, not guys. Me. It's me. I've been playing bad. Come on. I gotta wake up. This has been one of the worst starts to a game I've ever had. Like, I can't do anything right. Look at this slide tackle. The ball's just sitting there, and look what he does. He, like, choke slams that dude to the ground instead of just tackling the ball that's just sitting there. Like, what is going on? This has been an abysmal start. Oh, my God. What? It's Hachim. Oh, he's off sides. I was going to say it's Hachima's store again. That was by far the best attack we've had so far in this game, and it took 35 minutes to get it. But finally, we got it, and I can't believe he was off sides. How? Ah, I'm about to get a red card. This is the part where I get so frustrated that I actually get a red. Thank God Kim Sung Gyu is there. Just hold it. Just call for halftime. I'm not... I'm, give me a yellow card if you want to. Thank God it's halftime. Oh, I, I was getting really frustrated, and it was to the point, that, like, one of those times where I was going to get a red, and it was almost DeAndre Yedlin, and I can't afford to lose him. If we lose him, you know who's sitting there waiting to come in. It's Ty Mears. I, I'm not bringing time ears in, so I'm glad it's half time. They're forcing us wide, which is really not how I like to play. There we go. That's not bad. Hachi must. For fuck's sake. Oh, I ain't not sure. What the heck? What, what's going on? Goretzka! What just happened? Oh, I ain't not sure. Beautiful. Lay it off to my store. 
Oh, I didn't hit it hard enough, and Brad Guzan, I, I haven't made him work all day, and he just made two really good saves. There's a man in there. Boom! Oh, and Naki Williams put it over the bar. <laughs> all right, we've been playing well recently. Maybe we can get this ball in the back of the net. This is a really good spot for Goretzka. Let's see if I can't put it in. Goretzka, that's really good. Gore over the bar. Yes, Carrillo, play it off. Darlington Nagby, oh, he hit the post. Pelson follows. Nelson scores! Get the f*** out of here! Oh, that was the most satisfying goal I think I've ever scored in my life! I've been so frustrated in this game, the team's just playing shit. Or Nagby, to be fair, that was a great shot from him. Pelson just right place, right time. I don't know if anybody deserves any points from this game, but we might get three of them, thank God. There's the final whistle, and a 1-0 victory, one of the most boring games that's ever been played. But we do get the win, and three points, that, oh my god, I just, I can't even, I'm still pissed, like, that game was stupid. Alright, that is gonna do it for this one, next time out we start off with a Champions League matchup against Wolfsburg, we're away in Germany for that match, we actually had a lot of traveling to do this episode, I'm glad traveling doesn't affect stamina for this team, otherwise we would be dead tired right now, but it doesn't, so we're good. In the Premier League... We are currently in second place behind Aston Villa. I do not know how Aston Villa is in first. Honestly, they've only dropped two points all season and they haven't lost the match. Like, what is going on with them? Who the hell did they buy? Like, what did they do to that team? I can't wait to play them and find out like wh who their starting 11 is because that's crazy. That's absolutely insane, but that's gonna do it for this one. If you had as much fun as I did, make sure to let me know by leaving a like below. Subscribe if you're new. I'll see you when we come back with some more Sounders career. See ya.